Uh, Tom, here's the semifinal round in lane four. David Oliver, he has not been starting well this year, but he's been starting well at these trials. He got off to a great start and won his semifinal in 13-27. And then the reigning world champion, also in lane four, Jason Richardson. He had a phenomenal start. And despite knocking over a few barriers, a new personal best for him, sub-13, 12.98 for the reigning world champ. So ready for the finals now in the 110 hurdles. You see the uh, world and American records. You said there might be a chance of breaking at least the American record. The rain is coming a little more steadily now. Is that going to be a factor? I don't think so, and I know from... My friend Alan Johnson, who used to have the American record, that hurlers don't mind a little bit of a headwind, Tom, and they have had a headwind thus far this evening for the sprint, away, sprint competitions. So here are the uh, finalists in the 110 hurdles. Ty Aikens in lane one. He had a great year last year breaking into the top ten, but with 13.25 as a best, he has to set a personal best to even have a shot. Lane two is Antoine Hicks. Definitely a spoiler. He has very good height, 13.22 in his semifinal. PR close to 13 flat. Again, unless you put, set a personal best in this race, Tom, hard to make it onto the team. And there's the chiseled frame of David Oliver in lane three. And I talked about the fact that he is starting better. That gives him a shot because he is so strong in the latter half of this race. So if anybody falters in the latter half, that's the guy that can pick them off and make his second Olympic team. Jeff Porter is in lane four. And Jeff Porter ran a semi-final personal best of 13-19, so it means he is rounding into form at just the right time. He's going to need another one with the quality of this field. Lane five is Aries Merritt. I think he's the favorite based on his semi-final form as well as his season, but he has to manage his nerves. He's the world indoor champ. Now he's got to do it outdoors. And next to him in lane six is Jason Richardson. And definitely the co-favorite running 1298, that magic barrier. The reigning world champ trying to make his first ever Olympic team. Ryan Wilson is in lane seven. And his personal best is right at 13 flat as well. He's going to need a personal best. He tends to be very, very streaky. He's been on a streak of running well. He needs to keep that going here if he's to make his first Olympic U.S. team. And on the outside, in lane eight is Dexter Falk. I think he's a little bit of a sleeper out here because of how he has been running this year. 13-13 for a personal best and running very, very well in Europe. Glancing up at the flag, and they will definitely be into a headwind here, Tom. But it is going to take a phenomenal race to get aboard this flight to London. So much depth in this final. Jason Richardson to his right. They are very even to hurdle one. But Aries Merritt has been clearing these barriers with such ease. Look at how comfortable he looks despite all that's happened to his left and right. 
and he hangs on for the win. So the world indoor champion is now U.S. trials champion and headed to the Olympic Games for the very first time. Jeff Porter knocking over the final hurdle and then doing a header across the finish line. He'll take it. It means he's going to London. There's the finish, and Porter goes flying. That's the way you make an Olympic team. <laughs> With a flare. Aries Merritt, Jason Richardson, Jeff Porter, 1-2-3, comprise the U.S. hurdle team for...